Обережно, двері зачиняються. Caution. The doors are closing. God willing. And we are in Lviv underground again. After our first video address of the 29th of April, some viewers thought that we were joking, but we were not. In fact, we were and are dead serious. After our previous attack, the popular aggressive Russian propaganda website and a news was unavailable for about 5 days. This is an information outlet spreading lies against Georgia, Ukraine and Syria. Our first video address was on this site for more than 5 hours, and it took administrators more than 100 hours to partially restore the site's operation. A substantial portion of their data has been irretrievably lost. This was our small gift to the Ukrainian society for the great feast of the resurrection of Christ. We have shown how light breaks darkness with ease. We have enough strength and will to successfully overcome the aggressor. It only takes faith and contributing efforts from all of us to reach the common victory. And now for the victory. Ukraine is the heir of Kyiv and Res. Zaporizhian Cossacks and heroes of Kolodnya, fighters of Ukrainian insurgent army and the Ukrainians in the ranks of the Allied armies. These are our ancestors. They all fought with unbending will, and shed their blood, for our land, and freedom. The Ukrainian people, lost about 7 million of their sons and daughters 70 years ago in the fight against the aggressor and occupier. Now we have a new brown plague, at our borders, masking behind striped ribbons and Russian tricolors. But no matter, how strong the enemy might seem, it is destined to defeat and disgrace. Ukrainian people, soldiers, patriots and volunteers, have shown that indomitable will is part of their genetic code. On the Memorial Day and the Victory Day we have another gift for the Ukrainian society. A whole network of the aggressor information outlets and websites of Russian terrorists in Donbas, today will be paralyzed. Many websites of the enemy will feature this video, and other materials, exposing the lies of the occupants. We won then, and we will win again. In the memory of our ancestors, and for the future generations. Glory to Ukraine. Next station, Maidan Nezalezhnosti. The international volunteer community and form NAPAM is a well-established group which conducts its own investigations and publishes reports about the Russian aggressive policies. Our volunteers, based in many countries, carefully collect, analyze and publish facts of the Russian army's participation in the undeclared war in Donbas war crimes committed in Syria, and other acts of aggression by the Russian Federation.